Okay, so I can't move the computer. I got that all set up there. So um, the CD came with it had a bunch of stuff on, and and the, I, I decided that I'm going to put uh, um, this the CD onto a thumb drive. So um, I just got this. Obviously, it's not working here. Um, is that better? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, you can see most I won't maximize the screen here I just reformatted this computer and put Windows 10 on it so I'm actually not a hundred percent familiar with it and there's the stick and so there's the CD that came with it and the user manual software this video to show you how to install stuff so um, and I, don't, I can't see it right now but it, it comes with a little dongle that for the software so um, I'm just gonna try this. So um, I don't have Corel Draw, so that's for Corel Draw. This is just a standalone program on its own. So um, English. So so at least it is all in English, not like the videos I watched where it was all Chinese. Um, and it's and it's really quick to install. And you don't need a. I don't believe you need a number because that's what's on the dongle. I believe so. Um, you can't see what's on the dongle. I tried looking. So, so here it is. Create on your desktop. Now, from from what I've read on the the uh, internet, once this loads, um, you have to do something with. Um, s well, first it says to load the language to English, which I, which it is in a way. So, I'm gonna, but I'm just going to do that, um, and then you can go in and I'm trying to remember what was in the machinery so you have to create something so I'm gonna go file just a basic template I'm gonna do a, a rectangle um, and it's in millimeters and so um, I think I'm gonna and, and I made I made these pieces of wood fairly big but I'm gonna leave it with that and I'm just gonna put a rectangle with my name on it and then you can t change the quarters. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna put a round corner. I'm actually gonna put a five millimeter bevel on that. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I don't know what none of this stuff is. I'm. I'm just gonna leave it all. Hit OK. So there, it created this thing, and and I believe each square of this is gonna be a millimeter. So. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is is um, go up here. This is the cut thing here engrave so I'm, I'm actually not going to cut it out I'm just going to do an engrave right here um, but see you want to make sure this matches your machine so I'm going to plug my machine in I can see what happens because I actually didn't do that yet I, I may have to shut this down and restart the program I should have had the machine in before I turned this on sorry and the device set up now Engraving machine information is connected. Boom, you heard it move there. Um, and so when you go into properties here, this number here, engraving machine invalid device cannot use. Okay, so that number, it's the number that's inside um, your machine. It's completed now, okay? Um, and this is where you can actually change different stuff uh, I don't again I don't really know but that's apparently that's the board that I have I, I'm a, I think so I'm gonna hit OK now if you actually move this around it actually moves um, did you hear it it actually will move the head of the unit so um, and, I, and I'm gonna have to learn a little bit about zeroing this thing out and stuff. I'm gonna put this piece of wood in here that I just did. And try to get it in pretty level, as level as I can. And um, I think I'm gonna maybe handheld this camera now so that um, you can maybe see. So I'm gonna widen it out. And then I'm taking this off the tripod here. 
And so if you notice here in the piece of wood here, I have my piece of wood, but, but you notice the head of the unit there. So if I'm gonna stick this here, and maybe you can maybe watch, but if you see this here, I'm running the computer right now. And if I move it, it actually moves the tool, which I, I think that's pretty cool. I just wish there was actually a light, because if I hit test, you know, if I turn that down, see, I hit test and nothing's coming. There's no laser in it, probably because there's nothing to hit. I don't know. So, um, so I'm using the arrow keys, so that actually will work, but I'm just going to go this way. See how close that is. Um, and eventually, if you're engraving something the, the right size, it's, it's going to be pretty tough. And that's why you, need, you really need to learn where your zero, zero point is. At this point in time, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm just going to hit. So I know that's where it is. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to see if it'll, if it'll cut. Because this is an engraving. Um, I have no clue what speed. I'm just going to see if that's the right speed. So I'm going to hit starting, I think it says to go. Let's see what happens. And there's a, I don't know if you can see around, you guys know, remember that. I don't know if you can see around the edge of a little bit of smoke. Now you gotta be careful, don't stick your finger in here. Because, um, I think that laser probably can do some damage to your finger. Um, so it's actually great. deep it's it's probably halfway through there um, and and so that smoke I, I'm gonna build an air assist for this eventually um, so they say that makes a big difference um, you can actually see the light right through in the top of the O where where I did the test cut and I went right through um, so I don't know if I I'm gonna keep trying this and play with it and you know turn the, the laser down a little bit uh, change the speed we'll see so anyway I'm gonna pause this